As Hugh McLennan famously wrote in 1945, Canada can be a place of two solitudes, and a symbol of the divide that can separate French and English is Marc André Grandin, a star in French language films. He's largely unknown in this country outside of Quebec, unless you are lucky enough to catch him in Crazy, a brilliant story about a father son relationship that features this nod to one of the gods. This is ground control to Major Tom. After that, you'd think the work would come pouring in here, but Mark's next stint was actually in France, where he won a César, which is the French Oscar. Thankfully, he's still making Canadian pictures. One of the best is Goon. Mark co-stars along with his buddy Jay Baruchel as a highly skilled player in need of more muscle. Do you have any idea what would happen if I stopped watching your back? It'd be like before you came. I like that better. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. How are things? Good. Very excited to have you here. Thanks. Crazy was wonderful, as you know, uh, and, uh, and and your career's taken off, and Goon has taken on a life of its own. Did you expect Goon to be what it is? I was hoping for it. Yeah. Because uh, I was really, really excited when I read the script, uh, when Jay told me about it. We had such a blast shooting it. Like, I, 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 I told him a couple months ago, I was like, because he was talking about Goon 2. I was like, there could be like like 20 goons, and yeah. it might be the only thing I could do for the rest of my life. And even if they suck, I want to be part of it. You know? <laughs> That's the closest I can get to be a hockey player. So. Right. What did crazy mean to you? Well, it's the reason I'm sitting here. Yeah. Well, listen, I, I, when it first came out, I didn't see it. All my friends said it was so wonderful, so wonderful. I thought it couldn't possibly live up to the hype. So I just, I didn't see it for a while. I thought I'll give myself a breathing space. But it was better than the hype, in my estimation. And there may be films made in Canada that have been as good, but I don't know that a film has ever been better than Crazy. And when you're making that, do you know that that's what's happening? No. No? No, I was scared. And I, did, I ended up, you know, just being more comfortable and, and uh, had more scene with Michel Côté and made everything so much more fun and, and, uh, and easy. I remember uh, talking to Mark Wahlberg. He was in this chair, and we were talking about films that he passed on because he wasn't sure he could do it or he would be... Like, he sort of... Well, he intimated he regretted passing on Brokeback Mountain because he didn't think that the guys in his neighborhood would take to him playing a gay guy. That's a strong statement to make for you. I mean, did you ever have any of those concepts? No, um, not at all. It was such a strong story. And for me, it's always been um, a matter of being accepted, being different. Um, father and son relationship that was the you know the 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 big meat uh, and when the, the movie was about to come out i thought i would get teased a lot like going to bars having like drunk guys who were like yeah hey, and stuff no. i was sure it would happen and it never happened actually there was like big like douchey guys like <laughs> where'd you go in the urinals <laughs> and they're like hey are you the guy from crazy and i'm like oh man yeah <laughs> And they're like, amazing job, man, great movie. I cried with my mom and my dad and so, And yeah, yeah it, it's pretty amazing. Like the, the, the whole, the, everything that happened surrounding that, that movie was incredible. You and Jay Bershaw posted uh, pics of you and him driving from Montreal to Toronto, yeah. which is a drive that we've all, if you're from Toronto or Montreal, we've done it a lot. And it's a very solitary drive. What was it like with him? Because I mean, you've got a French filmmaker and an English filmmaker who can understand a little bit of each other's culture. But what was that like? Actually, it's funny, because, well, I shouldn't say that, like, on a TV show. But I, I was driving, and I, when I got to my hotel room, we checked in, and, um, and he texted me, like, oh, that was a nice drive. And I was like, yeah. And I was thinking about it. I was like, we should make a show, you know, about, like, just, <laughs> like, Anglos and Francos driving to Toronto and back, like, <laughs> or to Montreal, you That's know? Because it's a boring drive, man. It, it's a boring drive. I, I, I really like driving all by myself, put music on and stuff. But you're but, a loner, though, aren't you, in your heart? Yeah, a little bit. Not in my heart. Yeah. Well, I'm single. That's why I'm a loner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, with Jay, it was incredible. We had all the, the most cliche Anglo-Franco conversations you, you can have uh, about the FLQ and everything, and, and hockey and girls and everything. And, um, and it was fun. I mean, I, I, I don't do road trips. It's a short road trip, yeah. but I don't do road trips with people often, and it was great. Jay baruchel has got something for you. So uh, I understand you have uh, one of my best friends 
uh, Marc Andre Grandin with you, um, and uh, I would be remiss were not to ask you to ask him about a certain awesome Minute Maid commercial from the late '80s, early '90s. It's easily my favorite thing on YouTube, so take a look. Le jus d'orange concentré Minute Maid, le préféré des Québécois. O.J. Baruchel. O.J. Baruchel. Yeah, he totally he's making fun of me all the time because um, he saw an interview of me um, in Quebec and um, they mentioned it or something. And he searched like crazy to find it on YouTube and, he f and found it because mm. my name is not in the tag. So. Right. Um, so anyway, good job, Jay. But, uh, <laughs> and since he's doing this all the time. You're telling everybody about it. <laughs> he's always doing this. And the story, and that's what I told him, my mom told me that I kept on doing this every take. Mm -hmm. and, and I was a really nice boy. And you know, the director was coming and was like, so next take, you're not going to do it. And I was like, yeah. And next take, I was doing it. And it, it looks like a cult or something. It's like that family, like, drinking, like, orange juice. Like, yay! Join the cult, the Especially Minute Maid cult. With, with the know? shaved head and the beard, it looks like that. You know? Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Mark Andre Grande, we'll be right back. It's a wet. 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 It's a